if you're working with music or audio here in iMovie and you're finding it difficult because you can't seem to move the audio to where you want it to go, in this video I'm going to show you how. Let's go. The important thing to understand when working with audio in iMovie is the difference between foreground and background audio. So if we select this audio clip, I've got a video clip and an audio clip here. If we just tap on this volume button to get rid of that, you'll notice that below here we've got this foreground option. Now if I tap on that, what it's going to do is it's going to take that green background audio and put it into the foreground. If I tap background, it turns green and goes into the background. Now why is this important? Well, as background audio, if we try to tap and move this it won't move anywhere it's stuck to the start of the video so if you're ever trying to adjust your audio in your video that's the problem you've got there all you need to do is select it make sure any of these are turned off so that you're getting this option here hit foreground and you'll get your blue audio there what you can now do is grab this and you can move it to any point so if we wanted to line this up with a different part of this video we can actually do that so we can match up our audio waveform from our original video and from this particular track which is what I'm going to show you right now. Let's create a new project and take you through this step by step. So we're going to tap on new project. We're not going to use either of the new modes, but if you want to check those out, there's a video linked up the top that shows you about those. We're just going to use a regular movie this time around. I'm going to go to my videos here and go to my all section. If we scroll on down here, I'm going to find this video clip of me singing along to one of my own songs, and I'm going to bring that into this video. Okay, there it is. We're going to tap on that one. We're going to hit that check mark there, and then down the bottom here, we're going to hit create movie. Now, this is just a very sloppy version of this song that I recorded here. We'll uh, hit play on this one and you can take a listen. There you go. So I'm singing along to the playback of that audio. So if I wanted to turn this into a music video, obviously I don't want this dodgy iPhone audio. I want something a bit better quality. So what I'm going to do now is actually bring in the audio file. To do that, I'm going to come back up here to my media. This time I'm going to tap on files. But actually before I do that, I need to switch over to audio here. So we'll change that from media to audio. This time I'm going to go to my music and I'm going to scroll on down here to files because I want to select a specific file from what I've actually exported here. We'll scroll down and we'll find this one here, the mastered version of this particular song, and boom, it throws it straight in there. Now, the first problem you're going to see here is what has it brought it in as? Background audio. So the first thing we need to do is switch that around by tapping this foreground button. It's going to turn blue, and now we can actually adjust that. So now if we need to move this around, which is what we're about to do, it's going to allow us to move that audio to wherever we want it. Now, for the next part, I'm going to grab two fingers and zoom in on this because what we want to do is we need to find the point where this song actually starts because you'll notice here that my original version has this count in, whereas this version actually starts straight away. If we want to uh, see that, if we tap on this one here, what we're going to do is we'll just turn the volume down on this. So we'll put the volume to zero, and it's actually pretty cool here in iMovie. You can see it actually changes your waveform. So we'll put the volume to zero on that one. The original audio sounds like this. So that's the point there. Right around there is the point where the song actually starts. So that's where we need this bit of audio to actually come in. So to actually do that, all we need to do is let's turn the volume back up so we can see our waveform again there. We'll put it up to 100% by tapping on volume there. And then we just need to tap and hold and drag this across and line up this audio with the original video and drop it there. Now it's a little bit clunky, a little bit of trial and error is involved here, but let's just sort of see how close we got with these two for this time around. Yeah, so we're way off there, but you can see there the point where it actually starts. So this little spot here, if we drag back there, that spot is where this spot needs to be. So we can actually, again, come onto this one, tap and hold, and then drag this across and line it up right underneath there. And this time I think we're going to be a little bit closer. If we scroll back, hit play. We're still off there, aren't we? So I think it's actually this next one here that's the bit we want there. Is it right there? Let's try this, shall we? Closer. We just need to go a little bit further, tap and hold, drag a little bit there, drop it, and I think this one's about right. A little bit less. So yes, it is some trial and error here, but eventually you're going to line this up. 
and it's going to be almost on the money there. So now what we can do is if we grab this original audio, we want this to be completely silent and muted. So we're going to actually drag that down to zero. See how the audio form there goes up. If you go up, it goes down if you go down. So then we can do that. We're going to select this one. Make sure this is at 100% by double tapping on it. And now we should have myself singing along to this track. So uh, let's hit the play button and see what we got. Very cool, yeah. It's going to sound a lot better than that original audio that we had there because we've brought in this audio. So there is the key to this. Again, it's going to be hidden if you've got anything selected, but if we tap off on the volume there, make sure your, your audio is in the foreground. If it's in the background, it's going to slide up to the front there. It's going to be green. It's going to be no bueno for your controls there. There's a heap of other videos here on the channel all about audio and using music and audio here in iMovie. So check those out up the top there and down in the description and I'll see you next time.